Hi guys, Mark is here. Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, February 14th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 648, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Angel Zhao and Leo Wu share pictures from snowy Helsinki. Arthur Chen Studio releases a statement after a gossip blogger publishes pictures of the actor in bed with an internet celebrity. Hidden Blade's director says he and Wang Yipo will collaborate again. And Li Pingping raises eyebrows when she reveals her boiled veggie diet. But first, here's what's recently premiered, three dramas for today and yesterday, all romance ones in tune with the Valentine's theme. There's The Forbidden Flower starring Jerry Yan and Xu Rohan. It premiered yesterday, February 13th. Jerry Yan plays an excellent horticulturist who's had a rough life and almost lost all his confidence. Xu Rohan plays a terminally ill girl who's learning about life, romance, and personal growth. In each other, they find the most important missing parts of their lives. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's Wenderella's Diary, starring Sung Yenfei and Yu Menglong. It also premiered on February 13th. He is the founder of a well-known dating app, while she is a designer of high heels. In everyone's eyes, they're like Cinderella and the Prince, both talented and beautiful. However, she has a secret, and after they marry, it's like the clock strikes midnight for Cinderella, and she returns to her original form. Wenderella's Diary is slated for 24 episodes, and is available on YouTube with English subs. And lastly, there's Perfect Mismatch. This one stars Luo Cheng and Rain Lu, and it premiered earlier today. Rain Lu plays a girl who's proficient in Chinese medicine and martial arts. One day, while in the mountains, she rescues a cold-faced CEO played by Luo Cheng. Romance and comedy ensues. Perfect Mismatch is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. That's it for recently premiered dramas. Yesterday, The Starry Love confirmed its premiere date. The Starry Love, previously known as Love When the Stars Fall, had been rumored for a February 16th premiere for a while. Yesterday, the drama confirmed it. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Yuku. I will update again on where to watch with English subs after it premieres. And that's it for dramas with premiere dates. Moving on, Back From The Brink recently released a new trailer. The high fantasy costume drama starring Neo Ho and Zhou Ye was actually rumored to premiere today, but that obviously hasn't happened. It did, however, release a new trailer a couple of days ago, which is available to view with English subs on YouTube. Neo Ho last starred in 2022's Hu Tong, in which his character had a storyline with Zhao Lu Si's. Zhou Ye, on the other hand, hasn't had any dramas air since 2021. She had a supporting role as Gu Xiang in Word of Honor. Adapted from Zhu Lu Feixiang's novel of the same name, Back from the Brink follows Neo Ho's character, an ancient dragon who is betrayed by the woman he loves. She dismembered him and sent the pieces all over the world, but his soul managed to escape. Now reborn, he meets Zhou Ye's character, who vows to protect him while he retrieves his missing pieces. Back from the Brink is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Yuku. More updates on it when it confirms a premiere date. Lastly, for drama updates, here are some looks at some drama stars who are filming right now. Angel Zhao shared a bunch of pictures of herself a couple of days ago. She is in Helsinki, where she is filming during the snowstorm with Leo Wu. Leo also shared some pictures. According to Senna, fans expressed how keenly they're anticipating the drama. One cheekily asked, can you guys stream episodes and film at the same time? Then there are some official pictures of the stars of The Prisoner of Beauty. Here are Lorena Song and Liu Yuning catching some shut-eye. Here is Lorena Song playing Go. These pictures were released earlier today. And here's Liu Yuning with a scroll. The Prisoner of Beauty started filming at the end of January. Also starting filming at the end of January was Everlasting Longing. Pictures of the stars on set have been circulating online. 
Here is female lead Angela Baby in her Kitan outfit. And here is male lead Song Wei Long in his. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with the story that's been on everyone's lips these past couple of days, Arthur Chen and the Internet Celeb. 22-year-old Arthur Chen hit the drama scene with 2018's Evernight. Since then, his popularity has continued to rise, and he is one of China's most promising young stars. His last drama to air was last year's Lighter and Princess, in which he starred with Zhang Jingyi. Two nights ago, Arthur became a hot topic of discussion on Chinese social media when gossip blogger super photographer Yang Yang released some images of Arthur in bed with an internet celebrity who goes by the Weibo name It's Yiling Ah. We'll just refer to her as Yiling. In the suggestive photos, Arthur seems to be topless and fast asleep. Super photographer Yang Yang claims in his post that Arthur and Yiling started seeing each other in 2021 and have been spotted multiple times at a high-end hotel in Changsha. It's quite clear that these photos are selfies taken by Yiling, but how did they land in the hands of super photographer Yang Yang? Some speculate it was Yiling herself who leaked them. Others say it was her husband. Indeed, netizens did some digging and found that Yiling is now married, which raised questions as to whether she was already married during the hotel meetups. Others claim that she's a fangirl who owned an Arthur Chan fan site a few years ago. Other rumors include instances of extortion and Arthur's mom trying to buy back the pictures but not being able to come to a deal with the relevant parties. So the hits keep coming for super photographer Yang Yang. There was the Johnny Huang Del Raba thing last week, now this. But while the Johnny Huang Del Raba thing was more like cryptic messages and leading netizens down a narrative that might or might not be true, this one's more straightforward and hard to deny. However, Arthur and Ealing did release statements to clarify. Arthur's studio released a statement to clarify that the actor and one Miss Who were both single when they saw each other. They also said that those photos are private and urged netizens to stop circulating them. They also warned relevant parties to immediately delete and withdraw insulting and defamatory remarks against Arthur Chen. Yiling, or Miss Who's agency, BLB Entertainment, also issued a statement. They explained that both parties were single during the relationship and that they broke up amicably, after which she got married the following year. So there are some who say this is the beginning of Arthur's downfall, that he's done that kind of thing. What do you guys think? I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if that actually happened. Who knows with these fandoms and all. It would be a shame though, Arthur is a promising young actor. And from what's been published so far, he didn't do anything illegal. I mean, might not be the best publicity, but they're both consenting adults. Next up for celebrity updates, Wang Yipo will collaborate again with Cheng Er. That's according to this February 11th Sena Entertainment article. Cheng Er directed Wang Yipo in the Republican era spy movie Hidden Blade. During a roadshow for the movie, Cheng Er revealed that he will continue to collaborate with Wang Yipo on a new film titled Ren Yu, literally translated as Mer Person. Cheng Er also said during the roadshow that he was surprised people didn't know about this upcoming second collaboration, citing, I mentioned it on the second day of the Lunar New Year. Indeed, on January 23rd, Cheng Er posted on Hidden Blade's Weibo a long message in which he mentioned, quote, So we will continue. After summer, we will continue. We will shoot a super art film called Ren Yu, and we will shoot in various places in Asia, end quote. This reminds me of an interview Cheng Er did for GQ when he and Wang Yipo were promoting Hidden Blade. In it, Cheng Er spoke about Wang Yipo's devotion to his character. Cheng Er revealed that in order to help Wang Yipo get into character, he requested the actor to spend one week all alone. No mobile phones, no games, no communication with friends and family, to which Wang Yipo obliged. On the experience, Yipo said, I never relaxed. I felt stressed and depressed the whole time. And lastly, for celebrity updates, here's an interesting one I came across recently that I thought I'd share. Written by Jiamun Ko for media outlet 8 Days, it's titled, What's the point of living? Netizen says to Li Bingbing, 50, who eats only vegetable, blanched, and hot water. The Chinese actress says she enjoys the quote-unquote original flavor of vegetables. 49-year-old actress Li Bingbing recently caught netizens' attention when she revealed in a video clip that she regularly eats boiled vegetables three meals a day. 
A cup of hot water, a bowl of veggies, dinner's ready, she explained. According to 8 Days, Bingbing then went on to ask her fans, does anyone else enjoy eating food with its original flavor just like me? She continued, I think this is the healthiest way to eat. It helps maintain your figure. I also like to have my food shredded, and you just have to add some hot water to it. I think this is really yummy, because you can taste the original flavor of the vegetables. Bingbing's assistant then asked, There isn't salt at all, how can you eat it? To which the actress responded, I eat with my mind. While there were netizens who were very impressed with Bingbing's discipline, many found her way of dieting very miserable. One even asked, what's the point of living? On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark is At? The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following two dramas. I'm on episode 27 of The Knockout starring Zhang Yi and Zhang Sungwen. I'm following it on IQ.com where it's available with English subs. While I've praised Zhang Sungwen quite a bit for his performance in The Knockout, I also don't want to leave out Zhang Yi, the other star of the show. He's been great as well. What I like is that he hasn't been typical. Like, his character has this propensity to seek justice, but he also has this goofy side to him, especially when he's around Li Tong's character. I also find the relationship his character has with Zhang Sung Wen's to be very convincing. I'm also on episode 2 of Under the Microscope starring Chang Ruoyun and Wang Yang, following it on IQ.com where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark is At. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!